Chin. Okay, glad you could be here with me today. Well, the pleasure's mine. Thank you for having me. Being here. All right, how you doing? All right, I'm ready. All right, All right. good, I'm doing well. All right, let's take it from the top. Okay, sure, I'm ready. I'm ready when you are. While reading The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, mm -hmm. were there any major themes or symbols that stood out to you? You know, that's a very interesting topic. Let me elaborate for you. As I was reading the novel, I happened to notice one very large and central theme, or excuse me, symbol that occurred almost as frequently as they said the word the in the novel. Let me explain. To you? No, not at all. No. No? no. Um, why is that? I, I, I don't know. I, I couldn't understand the guy. Throughout the novel, Huck and the slave Jim are escaping from the town of St. Petersburg to go to the Mississippi River and escape all the injustice and prosecution that they reconcile with every single day. It, you know it was a book, right? He yes! Uh, okay, did you, did you read it? Nah, man. For example, Jim's status as a slave is neg negligible to most people. Also, Huck's father, Pat, as some refer to them as in the novel, um, beats Huck frequently, and Huck does not appreciate that. Mm. So, you didn't read any of it? Not even the back cover? You know, let me explain. I read the whole book. I was just jazzing you before. Oh, okay. Well, were there any... So there were no major themes or symbols that... No, no. none that stood out to me, man. Okay. With his actions of... Uh, diversion and um, slyness, if you will, he manages to fake his own death and escape. And he actually meets Jim by fate, and they travel up the stream. How would you rate this book overall? You know, overall, I think Twain did a very fantastic job with this novel. Thing, the one thing I appreciated the most was the way that he wrote the novel. Let me explain for you. You want my full evaluation of this novel, written by Mark Twain, Mark Jimothy Twain. That would be nice, yes. Okay, here we go. Chapter one, it was all right. Chapter two, mediocre. Chapter three, could have been better, but I didn't like it that much. Chapter four, okay. Chapter five, once again, okay. Chapter six, oh my God, I did not see that coming. The way he wrote the novel was as if you were talking to a very deep Southern person with a very deep Southern Louisiana accent. Because as you all know, Huckleberry Finn is the narrator of this novel. Chapter 11, boring. Chapter 12, boring. Chapter 13, oh my god, this is boring. So, for instance, if he were to say, howdy y'all, in that type of accent, Twain writ wrote it out like that. One thing I didn't like about this mechanic was when Jim spoke. It was very jumbled and, you know, just tedious to read. Uh, chapter 26 would have made more sense if I read Tom Sawyer, but I didn't. But overall, you know, Twain did a fantastic job with this novel, and, um, you know, very young readers would appreciate this type of literature. It's very, it's a very challenging and well thought out novel. Chapter 40! That was pretty alright. Chapter 41? Chapter 42? You did good, Mark Twain. We're almost done with the book. Last chapter. <laughs> Let me evaluate it for you. That was a very nice ending to the book. I did not expect that. But it was good. I liked it. It was all right. Thanks for having All right. Well, thank you for your insight. It was good to talk with you. Thank you. You too. Have a fantastic day. Well, okay. Well, um, thank you for, uh... You're welcome. Oh, okay. Bye. Bless you. All right. I didn't sneeze. Yeah. Okay.